What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I received a ton of follow-up questions following my most recent video where we demoed the winning reports from our most recent Power BI contest. Specifically, these questions were asking how the report authors were able to analyze the sentiments of my YouTube comments. If you're not familiar, sentiment analysis is the process of using machine learning or artificial intelligence to take an educated guess on whether a piece of text data is positive or negative or has a positive or negative connotation. So to answer everyone's questions, the data set itself contained the positive and negative scores for each of my YouTube comments. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to guess whether or not those comments were positive or negative. If you haven't already seen the awesome winning reports from our last contest, make sure you check out this link. This link will be down in the description. You can interact with all of the winning reports on this page. So on this first report by Vinicius, which is an amazing report, we're gonna quickly go to the comments page and you can see some sections on the predicted sentiments of these comments. For example, we see we receive about 84% positive comments on the YouTube channel and about 16% negative comments. By number, uh, over a thousand positive, uh, over 200 negative. And on this report, you can even filter down to see the positive or negative comments. So if you have your own text data, perhaps you've scraped the web for different tweets or LinkedIn posts, I'm gonna show you how to tell if they have a positive or negative connotation. So the way we do this is actually with my side project called Impactful. Just go to impactful.com and we have a couple different tools available for you now. I've already demoed how to validate emails on this channel, so I do have a video on the email validation piece. And in this piece, we're gonna talk about the sentiment analysis tool. It's extremely easy to get up and running. Make sure you check out the pricing page. We do offer a free tier to give you 1,000 free API calls per month. So with this, you're able to analyze 1,000 sentiments for free per month. Or if you have more data to analyze, you can check out our pro or elite plans. These plans offer more API calls per month and they also offer some extra functionality as well. So sign up for whichever plan you want then click on tools and sentiment analysis. We offer two ways in order to get this sentiment information. Option one is a simple file upload process. Let's demo that really quick. On the upload a file page, we can choose to upload an Excel file, CSV or text file. I'm going to upload an Excel file and let's click upload. Once this is done crunching through and analyzing those sentiments, it's going to present you with a download button. Once we download that, let's open that up. And we can see I started with a few pieces of text and here are our predicted sentiments and confidences. For example, if I say I love this API, it predicts that to have a positive sentiment at about 93% confidence. I'm feeling great, a very positive comment. I hate everything, a negative comment. I'm not pretty, a negative comment. So you can see how this works. It just crunches through and labels those texts as positive or negative based on the machine learning model in the background. Really cool stuff. This adds a lot of dimensional value to your Power BI models. Really easy to simply upload an Excel file and get that information back. But since this is a Power BI tutorial channel, I'm gonna show you how you can get these sentiments directly into Power BI without having to upload any files. So let's go to Power BI and I have a sample file here. This sample file has everything that you need in order to get up and running with your own API key and run on your own data. You can download this file by visiting the blog post link in the description. Once you download this file, you can follow these three simple steps. To walk you through it very quickly, let's go to the transform data option and we have our API key here. This is my personal API key. You need to enter in your own. So once you sign up for our service, you go to account and API key, and this is going to be your API key. Make sure you copy it and paste it into the current value, and then you're going to run with your own keys. And then we have a function that's going to analyze the sentiments. We're not going to dig into this, but if you do want to understand what's happening here, it's basically just calling the impactful API, but that's unimportant for us right now. All you need to do if you wanna start analyzing your own sentiments is to put in your own text data. Right here, I have specifically typed in a few different pieces of data. This actually matches what was on those files. You can type in your own data here or paste it in to this custom table, or you can connect to an Excel file and call the analysis yourself. So for example, if I wanted to add a line here and say, this is an amazing tool and click okay, I'm gonna add that extra line and at the end of our steps, we're gonna see that that receives a 99% positive sentiment. So once we close and apply, we'll see those values crunch through and come in to our actual Power BI report. We see that new line here. We see our breakdown of positive and negative and another breakdown of positive and negative. From here, you can do whatever you want with those new sentiments. One quick thing I want to note, uh, since you have a limited number of API calls, do make sure that you go to File, Options, Options, and check off the loading the data in the background, allow data previews to download in the background. Make sure you check that off because if you do check that on, every time you load the data in Power Query, 
even though it's not loading it into your Power BI model, it will be calling the API and hitting or using your API calls. So make sure you check that off. So those are the two ways in which you can call our impactful sentiment analysis API in order to predict the sentiments of your text data. This is really, really cool stuff. I really enjoy digging into AI applications and bringing them into Power BI as well. I hope you enjoyed these data insights tools that we're starting to roll out. Next, we'll be rolling out the language detection as well. That'll be a really cool one and I'll create a video once that's finished. All the relevant links to everything we showed in this video will be down below, including impactful.com. That link will be in the description as well. That's it for me. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.